All right, what's going on, guys? This is Ableist here, and today uh, is going to be the first episode of my Resident Evil 4 walkthrough. Now, this uh, it's going to be uncut, uh, and I'm going to aim for the videos to be in between 30 and 45 minutes. And yeah, I'm going to watch all the cutscenes, and I'm probably going to mute my mic during the cutscenes. And yeah, let's get into it. Uh, we play now normal. We ain't no bitches. Resident Evil. And I don't know exactly how loud the game volume is going to be for you guys, but... Oh, cutscene. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornel, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. Oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. We'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. 
Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. Alright, so this game takes place six years after Raccoon City, which, if you don't know what that is, then... Well, basically, uh, like they said, the president nuked uh, the entire uh, city of Raccoon City. And yeah, I really love this game. It's easily my top three, probably my top three. And I played through it probably at least... Probably at least five times, I'd say. But this is my first time on PC, so I'm gonna see... Uh, I'm gonna see if I can do any... Uh, Oh, yes, I can do key bindings. Okay. Run, left, shift, no. I always have run to two because it's like my... Um, it's it's like on the side of my mouse. <laughs> it's like a key binding user for the side of my mouse. And then quick turn will have that be... Yeah, that looks fine. All right, and then... What else? Reload R, that's good. Ready weapon. Right. Oh, right mouse button. Ready knife space. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Um, attack, left mouse button, yep, that's fine. Command Ashley Z, that's fine. Map, M, status tab. Alright. No. No, I don't want to reset to default. Alright. So, yeah, this game we save, or we try to save the princess's daughter. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy me playing this walkthrough. Uh, I always shoot one of these- oh my god, I fucked up. <laughs> I always shoot these crows at the start, because they give you some stuff. Holy shit, this is really weird playing on PC. And yeah, I have some little tips for you guys that I can do. And hopefully I don't say and yeah a lot. I know I say and yeah a lot. <laughs> but I try- well, oh, I'll try not to do that so much for this walkthrough. I remember I used to always play this- oh shit, fuck me, I keep accidentally shooting. <laughs> I remember I used to be so scared of this truck because I used to play it in my basement in 4th grade and I was like so scared. I used to be really scared of this game, which if you're young it is a really scared game. Uh, excuse me, sir? I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you. Freeze! I said freeze! Alright, this guy tries to attack us at the start, but he's pretty easy to take out. Yep, and then that truck moves, and then you guys will see what happens. Oh shit, I'm talking during cutscene. I'm sorry. <laughs> shit. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Alright, so our cop friends clearly had a little bit of trouble, as you guys could tell. Come back here, there's some skulls. We'll check out what happened to our cop friends after, after we kill these people first. Uh, if you come up these stairs, there's some ammo. Here, wait, I might increase my mount since my mouse sensitivity really quick all right and can I turn down the uh all right I can't turn down the volume so <laughs> I hope the volume is good if it's too loud this episode then I can change it 
next episode uh, to have it be a little bit quieter. Jesus, this is really weird on PC. All right. All right, these guys, they were pretty easy. They're just kind of like the base level enemies. Uh, do I not have any more ammo? Oh, I do. Why? Oh, I have to aim and reload, right? Yeah, that's kind of weird. You have to aim and then click reload. So if we go back here, we can see that our cop friends aren't here anymore. And we can see that they have been crashed down here. Along with the truck. And obviously this bridge has been taken out. So our only way is to go deeper into the village. I remember back in like, I think it was fourth grade again. I saw this playthrough of this guy doing it on the Wii. And that, that's what my first playthrough was on too. It was on the Wii. And the guy, he had a really annoying voice. But <laughs> I grew to like it. I don't know. It was weird. He sounded... I... I remember what he sounded like, but I can't really describe it. Uh, you can save right here if you want. You can save on all typewriters, but it's really not worth it to do it right here in this part. Some more crows we can shoot. Here, wait, actually, I might turn down my mouse sensitivity. <laughs> Sorry, I keep changing my shit in the middle of the thing, but I'll turn it down to... 13? Yeah, 13 sounds good. Oops. Yeah, but there's more, some more crows you can shoot right here. You can help this dog. Uh, he comes back later in the game. Not really to spoil anything. But it's always a good thing to free him and to not be a dick. <laughs> but yep, you can see him go and then disappear off. Here comes this guy. What? How did that miss? Here, you can get him to walk into his own little trap. I think this should get him to walk into it. Oh, nope, it didn't. Alright, oh well. Oh shit. Sorry, my aim's pretty bad because I'm not used to playing this on PC. And plus these controls are weird anyway. <laughs> Oh, almost ran into the bear trap there. <laughs> I think this game came out in 2006 or 2007, which for its time, it's extremely ahead. Oh shit, they saw me. Alright. Yep, there's a couple guys down here. Ooh, can I get the kick? Yep. So that's a really good strat that will save you a lot of ammo in this game, running up to or shooting people in the face and then when they cover themselves like that, uh, running up and kicking them. You know what? I'm changing my mouth sensitivity one more time. I'm sorry, guys. This will be the last time, I promise. We're just going back. To, no, we'll bump it up to 17. Alright, that's the last time I'm changing it. I'm just going to get used to it now. Couple guys up here. Don't worry. They, they don't come down and hit you or anything. They just run away. Yep. Bye-bye. Even if you try to shoot them, it doesn't damage them. And if we look in here, we can see a guy waiting for us. So usually what I like to do is I like to pop him in the head before I go in. And sometimes you can get the kickoff, but this time I didn't. 
There we go. Alright, this part coming up, it's kind of hard. I used to be so scared of it when I was younger, and I could actually never pass it when I was younger. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Honigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it, thanks. <laughs> yeah, here you just get a basic playing manual. Uh, I think... Everything is already in the controls, so you don't really need to. You don't really need to look at the play manual too much. But if we look here, we can see one of the cops. Which, they did this really quick. And, yeah, this is a little village that you gotta clear out. Usually, what I like to do... I'm trying to remember. I think usually I just run into this far house over here. Shit, kind of a bad time to run. But what's kind of scary is that if you run into this house, you guys will see. Why these people? Chainsaw. Son of a yeah, that chainsaw guy used to scare the shit out of me when I was younger. I like it actually gave me nightmares. But yeah, now that we're in this building, we're getting surrounded. But it is the best trap because if we go upstairs, holy shit, we can see we have a shotgun. Which, that's really good. God, it's kind of weird using space to get the knife, but oh well. Alright. Grab some shells. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Shit. No, I missed the shells. There we go. Alright. Blast him in the face. You're gonna want to save the... Oh, motherfucker. Oh, no. Let me over... Oh, no. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Oh, never mind. Oh, my God. Okay, this is so weird playing on PC. I don't think you really use the mouse to look as much as I think on PC. Okay, so, here, um, do we want to use the first aid kit? No, here, we can, wait, how do you, okay, combine, okay, yeah, this is a lot different on PC, but if you combine those two herbs, you will get, uh, well, green herb times two, and it refills a lot more of your health than if you just do one, so, what we will do, oops, oh, 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 oh. alright, bring out the shotgun, Alright, wait for him to get up. Oh yeah, and they can only come from this way, by the way. That's why... Oh shit, that's why I usually go here. Alright, uh, we're gonna toss a grenade, actually. Oh, Alright, now wait for the... Chainsaw guy to get up. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, the chainsaw guy is a one-hit, one-kill, by the way. In case you guys couldn't tell. Here, I should probably save my ammo. For the shotgun. Oh. Okay, yep, this is kind of like a second wave of enemies here. Kick that guy, get some space. And, yep, here's the chainsaw guy back. Alright, chainsaw guy, yep, chainsaw guy's dead. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, motherfucker, I didn't even realize he was there. Alright. But, yeah, these other enemies are really easy to take out. Actually, we'll save our one shotgun bullet. Oh, I'm going to do that so much. 
Ooh, can we get the kick? Oh, we could. Nice. I can't remember exactly how long you have to hold out here for, but I know it's not too long. And it's pretty easy since it's just regular uh, villagers coming through. Ooh. Can we get the kick? Oh, shit. Yeah, and it really helps with clearing cloud. Yeah, it really helps with clear clearing crowds like that the kicks if you go up and then if you kick a group of them then it really helps space out oh here let's kick this chick in the face you know we will sure we'll use the last shot of our shotgun there we go. Pretty easy. That's another good shot you can do is like knife one enemy to save some ammo. Should be getting done pretty soon here. Yep. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Ah, he said bingo! <laughs> Alright, yeah, that was just the opening, kind of like the introduction to the game, really. Honigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. Alright. So you can loot this whole village. Uh, I would say it's really worth it because it's good to get set up in the... And kind of like the first half of this game, this village is really good for getting supplies. And you don't have to worry about any enemies in it. Oh yeah, if you double click E... Then it like kicks the door open and it's a little bit faster than just putting ah than pushing it open. Jesus, can I talk? Yellow herb, uh you can't take that regularly, but if you combine it with a red herb, then you can take it and it'll give you more health. And then if you combine it with a green herb, I think it gives you full health then if you combine it with a green herb. Uh I think you can go into this building. Yep, you can. more shotgun shells and i'm pretty sure most of the loot is always random i don't think that there's ever like a fixed spot for like a certain kind of loot like let's say this barrel isn't always guaranteed to have this handgun ammo you know but there is some guaranteed spots for like uh collectibles and stuff like that in this game i think that there's some sniper shells in this tower if i'm correct or maybe they're shotgun shells. I don't know. But if you go up here in, like, the regular fight, like, when you're fighting all the enemies, they'll start... Oh, it's shotgun shells. They'll start throwing fucking Molotovs up here, which is why... Originally, this would be a good strat because they could just come up from here, but then they just uh, start throwing Molotovs. I, I always kind of like this. Watch, Leon just fucking straight up jumps down like a story. <laughs> Uh, I think there's some little houses back here, or some boxes, yeah, oops. 
Another red herb. Oh, but that yellow herb, <laughs> the first yellow herb and the first red herb I got are always guaranteed to spawn. Whoops, to spawn over there. I know my commentary probably won't be too good <laughs> in this video because, well, it's my first time really doing a walkthrough in a game. I know I have, like, I think I used to have a Detroit Become Human walkthrough up on my channel, but I'm pretty sure I took it down. And I think, I think I still have my Man of Medan walkthrough up. So, yeah, it's probably not going to be, like, the best commentary-wise. But I do know a lot about the game and, you know, maybe, maybe you'll learn something from it. <laughs> Oh, here. Uh, you can pause it if you want to. I've read these a bunch of times. Leave all of them on for a couple seconds. Basically, it's just talking about how they know that, like, Leon's there and shit. In all the Resident Evil games, Leon is probably my favorite just because, I don't know, he just seems like such a badass and he's, like, really special trained. Okay, these blue medallions that you see hanging, they are really important because they can get you a free gun. There is a couple enemies here, which they aren't too big of a threat, but I'm going to save just in case. <laughs> I remember back when I would play on the Wii. Uh, what the fuck? Oh shit, you got to click enter and then, okay. Back when I would play on the Wii, I used to create like a different save every time. <laughs> so I would just have like 20 saves just like of each chapter. Uh, do we want to take out the enemies then loot? Yeah, we better do that. I think there's three enemies total here. Oh shit. Uh, oh. Oh my god, that was not smart of me. <laughs> ha ha ha. Shit. Oh yeah, chicken eggs, they give you some health. I think it may be enough for me to use it right now. Yep. Shit. Shit. That was my bad. <laughs> Still trying to get used to these PC controls. There we go. Alright, yeah, and then there's one other guy. I think he's way up there. So we can loot this area a little bit. So it's really important that you don't shoot this right away and you shoot this first. Because uh, if you just shoot it down, then it'll get in the water, which the water, it's like, I think it's like manure water. But the pearl pendant, it's really good. It's worth a pretty good amount of money, actually, at the merchant. Whoops. Oh shit, it's so weird, fucking... Because I'm used to, like, Warzone controls where spaces jump. Oh yeah, like I was talking, this is the blue medallions. Uh, yeah, if you shoot 10 or more, uh, you'll get a reward. And if you do all 15, then... Then, uh, you get an upgrade to the award you get. I'm not gonna spoil the award. Unless it said it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it did. And I don't... I think I know all the locations. I know, uh... I know I know all the locations in the farm. I know I know. <laughs> I know I know I know. <laughs> but I do know that I know where at least 10 are, which is usually uh, all that I shoot because I don't really care about the free upgrade. But I'll try and do all 15 for you guys this playthrough. Just another one. Oh. oh, I'm sure you could hear the other enemy. Oh, come on now. There we go. Oops. Alright, uh, where is he? Oh, yep, he's up here. Yep, just a really easy kill. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I thought I didn't kick him in time. Then you can just knife him to death. I, I really like doing that because it saves ammo. 
and they really have no choice but you can only really do that early game because i'm pretty sure the enemies as the game goes on i'm pretty sure they get more and more health holy shit i forgot there's actually four here wait there's not there's not five oh my god fucking a Fuck, there is five here. There we go. Oops, wrong thing. Alright, yeah, I'll show you guys how to combine uh, the <laughs> yellow and red herb. It's Basically, all the herbs are the same. You just click on them, and then you go to the other one. And then it'll let you combine them. Oh, come on. Right. Yeah, this game does have really weird controls and they do take a while to get used to, which <laughs> I'm also kind of getting used to like playing on PC too. So it's a little weird. The controls since this game were was made like so long ago, uh, I think it's called like tank controls where like you can't move and shoot, which I mean, it's kind of unique to the game, I guess. Uh, I think that's all the loot up here. So, seven in the farm. Have I shot four? I think I've shot four. There's another right here. Oh, shit. I'm going to miss one in the farm somewhere. Oh, uh, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. You know, maybe there's... I, I know I saw this one, but... Fuck. There we go. Where could the last one be? Got that one. Um. I want to say, I don't know, maybe it's down here. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> I'm so bad at that. All right. Fuck me, where could the last one be? Alright, well... It's down over there, maybe? I'm gonna find it, don't you guys worry. <laughs> People who know this by heart are probably fucking <laughs> cringing at me. Oh yeah, here's a little secret. I'm pretty sure you need a shotgun for this. Or, if you don't, then it just takes a lot of shots with the pistol, I think. But... If you blast this bookcase open, I think it takes a couple shots from the shotgun. Yep. Then you will be able to get. Oh, wait, where is it? I think it's. Yep, it's right here. So, this. This you can uh, put. I think it's green cat's eye. Or, like, cat's eyes in it. It's not, like, really cat's eyes. It's just, like. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. It's just something you can get. Uh, they have a set spawn every time and I know I think I know where a decent amount of them are I'm pretty sure most of them are in like uh, nests nests and stuff like you'll see like a little birds nest but where is that last medallion that's my question seven of them huh I think I think I might just have to carry on. Fuck. Where? I don't want to spend too much time on this. Uh, yeah, fuck it. We might just have to go, guys. Actually, I'll do... Oh, no, I remember where it is. It's fucking... I think it's back here. I think it's back here and you gotta look up. Yep. Finally, yeah, this is easily, like, the most sneaky one here. It's, like, straight up behind this thing. Oops. There we go. Alright, so that's all of them in the farm. And, uh, if you try to go where I shot the big one, 
or the big one where i shot the medallions uh, over here if you try to go to that door it'll say like it's too tall so you need to go over here all right Yep, here's the boulder part. I didn't want to spoil it for you guys. That's why I kept saying that. Oh shit, it's extra sprint. Okay. <laughs> Leon's fucking touching the camera. Oh my god, X and C. Okay, sorry. I was not expecting that. <laughs> yeah, if you die here, I'm pretty sure it just sets you back to where uh, you start getting chased by the boulder. Yeah, it sets you really close. Sorry. Getting chased by the boulder. <laughs> where you have to run away from the boulder. Oh my god, it fucking changed every time. Okay. Alright, if you if you have a grudge against these guys, you can run back up here a little bit. And then they will be on the bridge. Which, I'm not really going to waste my time killing them because you can only get their loot if they fall down. Which, I honestly can't even remember if they can fall down. Yeah, no, they can't fall down and... You'll basically just be wasting a bunch of ammo, but, uh, oh my god, I fucking just shot again. <laughs> but if you guys know who Ada is, uh, uh, you can play her in this game after you complete the main story, and you can get their loot from up there, which I might do Ada's walkthrough too. I don't know, it depends on how this series does. But yeah, these are just some spinals up here that you can take. That's all, anyways, or, <laughs> that's why I call them anyways, spinals. I don't know if that's the real word for them. But it looks like the real word. <laughs> Alright, this part can be kind of hard if you don't know what you're doing. Basically, you just gotta keep your distance from them. And if you shoot the dynamite out of their hand, it's really hard to. But if you shoot out of their hand, it explodes. Yep, there we go. Yeah, that's really hard to do. Since Leon fucking shakes shit ton. Fuck. Fuck. Are you kidding me? There we go. Yeah, that's an easy way to get rid of those two guys. And I think there's more. Oh yeah, there's a wire here. Oh my god. Okay, well, that guy just blew it up for me. Where is he? Oh, he's right over there. I wonder if I shoot... If I shoot those... Nope. Oh, that's gonna hit me. Fuck. Alright, alright, gotta heal, gotta heal. <laughs> Let's wait till he throws one more. Alright, then we can go through here and hopefully get an angle on him. Oh, yep, he's gonna explode himself, I think. Come on, explode! It's lit! Yep, there we go. It takes a while for them to explode themselves. Oh, yeah, if you guys are scared of spiders, look away. Because these spiders are giant. Uh, I think that's all the enemies outside, at least. There may be more that I'm forgetting about. I don't think so, though. Alright. Uh, where is the... Oh, yeah, there's the bird's nest. Okay. I'm pretty sure this bird's nest has the first, first <laughs> green cat's eye that we can get. Yep, red cat's eye. Okay, so if you go into your... Uh, what's it called? Keys and treasures. If you go for the cat's eye, combine with that, then it makes it more valu valuable at the merchant. And I don't know if this has anything to guarantee spawn in it. God damn it. Oh yeah, no. It, that's definitely not guaranteed anything. That's just uh, a random thing. Oh, there's one more guy in here. Well, this isn't good. Are you kidding me? I was out of the window. Oh my god. I've lost so much unnecessary health because I don't know the fucking... Uh, like, I'm not used to the PC controls. Oh, wait. No, not combined. Fuck. 
Oh, shit, can we not use it if it's not with a green? Oh, fuck, I did not remember that. Okay, apparently you can't use a fucking yellow and a red if it's not with a green. But we don't have much enemies coming up. I don't think. I, I'm pretty sure there's not enemy enemies in the house. So we should be safe. Pick up the ammo and save it real quick. Alright, now... I don't think there's anything else in this room. Alright. But you gotta be careful, because if you run around this corner too fast, then there's some dynamite here. Yep, just get basically all the way against the wall to avoid the explosion. And almost forgot about this one. Alright, then I don't think that there's any more traps. Yeah. But, I don't know if you guys can hear that banging. But, if we look behind here. Secret little area. We can see that there's this cabinet. And, let's see what's in there. Don't you think? <clears throat> You're not like them? No. You? <clears throat> okay. I have only one very important question. You got a smoke? Got gum. Perfect. The big cheese. What? Alright, so that was the end of the chapter. I think I actually might just do it by chapters because I'm pretty sure chapters will be like 30 to 40 minutes. So, yep, we're going to save right here, and then I think that that might be the end of this episode. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a like if you liked it, and, yeah, subscribe if you want to. See ya.